next community code is thing. Not only is he in the movie, he's also the AD on the film. Like this, this is gonna be working. He's hilarious too. Y'all get him right now for Dale Reese. Keep it going for your host, please. <laughs> this nigga Niles, man, is dope. He's my famous friend, so... I use Niles, man, to get pussy now, because... <laughs> you for TV. Every time we go to place, I'm like, you know I'm using your name, nigga. Like, 98 Honda, I did that. Just want niggas to know. He get mad every time, it's cool. Uh, <laughs> good afternoon, Saints, we here on Sunday. Happy Resurrection Sunday. God is good. And all the time, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> hey, you don't even know. I thought there was gonna be no call and response. I thought there was too many white folks. I'm not gonna lie, I'm proud of this crowd tonight. I almost shed a tear. I didn't make it to church this morning. I'm sorry, y'all. I did the next base thing. I made some omelets. I listened to Beyonce. <laughs> I was it. I had to talk to our Lord and Savior, Beyonce. I had to listen. Her new shit is fire. You guys heard this? Nice. I don't have no Beyonce jokes. I just had to put that shit out there. Just let you guys know. I wanted y'all to be proud of me. Uh, I just moved down to LA. I just moved down here. Uh, thank you. I'm proud. Talk to my parents. Let these niggas know to be proud. My parents like, you need something else? You need more money? Yeah, niggas. Expensive as fuck down here. I'm from Seattle. And, uh, hey, who's from Seattle? Who said that? Can't see you, but I'm proud of you too. Some dope shit. I get a lot of flight, man, being from Seattle because I think uh, it's just a bunch of white folks up there. We got shootings too, okay? We have, <laughs> we have niggas, all right? I don't like to tell people like that, okay? Because, you know, people think that we grew up privileged and shit. I'm like, I didn't grow up in the hood, I just grew up hood adjacent, you know what I mean? <laughs> I had a friend ask me one time, you ever use like your socks for gloves in the winter? Nigga, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to tell you about that. Somebody said one time, they said, you put ice cubes in your cereal to make it stretch? <laughs> Hell no. I grew up hood adjacent, man. Yeah. Uh -uh. These terms you're talking about, this poverty, nigga. <laughs> Not at all. Somebody said one time, they said, hey man, we were putting dish liquid in your in your bath, we saying to make the bubble stretch. I was shocked. <laughs> Not at all. I'm not here to brag, but I can afford some Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> I'm not sure what you niggas is doing. It's not their fault, it's their parents, you know what I mean? We got a lot of things about them within, you know, generations, you know, post slave syndrome, all that type of shit, but socks and gloves, nigga. We got ice cubes and cereal? That's crazy. Can you imagine eating Captain Crunch just cold and shit, your teeth hurting? Fucking top of your mouth was scraped to death and shit. All for some crunch beer. Fuck Captain Crunch, man. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even have that plan to say. I just remember eating. I had some crunch berries last week. Never eat. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> um, we're having a great time, man. We're hitting the bars out here and shit. And yeah, it's cool for you. Go ahead. You got recommendations? Go ahead. Keep it going. I'm listening. And I'll bring out your notepad. This person got recommendations. Nah, it's just a uh, dating out here sucks. Dating out here is the fucking worst. But I got a cheat code, right? My sister lives out here, my sister's trans, right? So she's my little brother now. <laughs> Me and my little brother go, we get bitches together. <laughs> it's kinda tight. You guys ever seen that movie, What Women Want? <laughs> Nigga, it's just like that. <laughs> I'm telling you, cause she still thinks like a woman. You know what I'm saying? Well, he, I'm sorry, let me not misgender, but you know. I get confused too when we go places and shit because my sister likes to embarrass me in front of the bitches and it sucks. Because he'll do shit like, you see I'm confused still. <laughs> but he do shit like, we've we like, got like the same taste in women, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see a nice young lady at the bar and I'll slide up, you know. That was Papa, how you doing? I'll turn my brother, what, what should I do? What's the next thing? He'll give me bad advice. <laughs> he's a piece of shit. <laughs> And then 
obviously I strike out, right? Here come this nigga sliding up. <laughs> he got a surgically altered body. I cannot compete. <laughs> It's like mad unfair, you know what I'm saying? I gotta hit the gym and you got like perfect like chest sculpted shit, you know what I mean? Shit's not cool. And, and he'll slide next to the bar and be like, you know Reese used to pee in the bed, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, you are the worst wingman man ever. It fucking sucks. I like that joke because it's a gay joke and I can get away with it. It's like, you can't get away with gay jokes no more. They fucking shut down. The gay joke to cancel you, everybody. That's the last time I said trans or gay in this whole set. That's what you do. <laughs> it's fucking over. Um, that's a lie too. I just want you to know. <laughs> I got a friend, man, that's going through some shit right now. One of my friends, I don't want to say his name, but he's um, he had a breakup. He was in a relationship for five years. And, you know, he got his heart broke. There was a young lady. It was a bad thing for our whole friend group, right? So. We go to bro's house, he's like, I want everybody to come over. I met somebody. I said, cool. You know, let's be supportive. Go to my nigga's house, rocking. We go to bro's house, and uh, he was like, you know, I met somebody. They're here. I want everybody to sit down. My nigga got a pension for ugly women. <laughs> so I tell the bros, look, whoever he bring out, okay, whatever he brings out. <laughs> we got to be accepting. Everybody just be cool. Okay, so we're all sitting on the couch, and... And he goes to the back for a couple minutes and he brings up this strapping 6'4 nigga that looked like Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. Right? <laughs> so I'm like, uh. Okay. And he said, This is my partner. And I'm like, Gym partner? <laughs> and he says, No, I'm gender fluid now. So I just, you know, I'm like, Okay. So I'm like, we gotta bet this person, right? Because you're not just gonna be all 6'4 uh, with my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's not perfect. 6'4 is huge. So I'm like, we gotta do some shit, right? Let's all go out together. You know what I'm saying? We all go out. And they picked the most gender neutral shit I've ever heard for us to do as a group. They said, let's go to the fair. So, like, <laughs> So get to the fair, playing the games. You know the sledgehammer game where you hit the thing, and you shoot to the sky, right? Hits the bell. This nigga Paul, man. Three straight times this nigga hit the bell, right? Okay, Paul, not Paul being filthy. I'm not gonna get winning prizes. Okay, all right, Paul. So we go to the three-point shooting contest. My nigga turned into Steph Curry. I'm like, damn, Paul. I'm not gonna lie, it was mad impressive. We all got gifts. <laughs> so we all walked out looking like Paul's date. Man. So we get back to the house, and it's a great time. We had a great time. Right? Paul's an amazing nigga. I didn't know that. Right? Not what I expected at all. Like, all right, guess on the you and your perfect chin. And your chin. I put my nigga to the side, I said, this nigga got brothers? <laughs> and uh, he said, let's, let's end the night with a drink. And everybody in the night with a drink. I said, okay, so I go in the kitchen, nigga's cooking up something, I don't know what, he had egg yolks and egg whites and all type of bitters, he let something on fire, I don't know what happened, right? <laughs> this shit was magical, right? <laughs> I said, damn, nigga, what you making? He said, I'm making it gender neutral. I said, I don't need one of those. <laughs> Stay away from this nigga, bro. Then we met nigga, his brother Paul. Look, I mean, he read his, uh, his twin brother. He got a twin brother named Gary. He's nigga look just like, I said, I'm staying away from this whole family. <laughs> Niggas ain't about to get me. I swear <laughs> anyway, man, uh, we had a great rest of the show. I love you guys.